a lot more power. <laughs> Yo, stop playing, bro. Already know we talking way more horsepower. What's good? It's your boy Chevy. We are back with another banger. What I got rocking for you guys today, I'm talking real horsepower this time. We get in the tune, put on the whip. So I hope you guys are excited. You're going to see me put this little mic right up here. Just so it's a little bit easier to talk to you guys. I sort of like to use my hands to talk every once in a while. You know how it goes. But let's jump into it. So what your boy's gotten is this right here. Please excuse my neighbors. I got one of these dogs, man. He just always barks every once in a while. But what your boy has copped right here is the MHD flasher. I'm not sure if you guys can see that really well. But this is the MHD flasher. This should allow me to put the tune on the whip. I ordered the tune already, so you already know, boy. Time to get it popping. Let's go. But before we get ahead of ourselves, I want you to hear what the whip sounds like right now. Stock, nothing going on. So let's take a look at that. So that was just one time for the one time so you guys can hear what that sound like it sounds pretty good right now i will eventually probably put burbles on it and then i'll definitely take those off but what we got to hear is what this is going to sound like in difference and what i'm really excited to see is the performance difference because that's what we're all here for right we're trying to see them gains those performance gains and now that we have a baseline of a 13.1 for the quarter mile i am so excited to see what kind of thing we're going to see when this thing takes off with a stage one tune so we can see what that looks like make sure to put your comments and your guesses down in the comment section below let me know what you think we're going to run because i'll show you guys definitely we're going to get a draggy time on this so let's get started all right so the first thing we got to do is i got to plug this guy right here down into the obd port so let's do that coming down underneath here you're going to see right in here so i'm going to plug this in now Bang. we're all plugged in you see how it's flashing and let me know that it's all plugged in. All right, so now that that's plugged in, the first thing it said is I gotta connect it to my car at least once before I can go ahead and activate the license and everything. So right now you gotta download the MHD app. So your boy downloaded the MHD app now, right there, it's that top one up here. Shows a little car, it's the F and G series. So now I'm gonna open up that app now. So let me put, let me put the car in the on position. So I'm just gonna press this button once here and put this thing in airplane mode. Now what I'm gonna do is click on this MHD Enet and I'm gonna join it. Now I've connected up to the connector. Easiest way to get this done is you're supposed to click the codes and then you're gonna read DME codes. Make sure all your other stuff is off. Read DME codes. It's now connecting, the firmware is being updated. The update is now finished, so I am now connected up to the MHD flasher and we're all connected up. Man, look at that reflection of me. Ah, la, la, la. All right. So that's there. So it said, please reconnect to it in 30 seconds. So let's go back into my settings, open up the app, go back, let's read DME codes. I'm connected, fine. So now I was reading everything, right? So these are supposedly all the codes here. So now that we've done that, red codes, I don't even know what half of those things mean, but now we are connected, the connector now knows the car. So now we can go ahead and move on to actually putting a tune on this thing. So what we're supposed to do now is first I gotta redeem my license key that I got for Beamer Network. So I gotta go back to the app. I'm gonna go up to this top corner up here, press this button, and then I need to go ahead, my licenses, activate new license key. And I'm gonna punch in my license key here. Press okay on that, but I gotta disconnect from the connector, get an internet connection on the internet. So let's disconnect from this bad boy. Connect back up to my Wi-Fi. Activate my license key again. Bang, license key is now activated for my super license, successful. Now that's locked to this car only. I click on this tune down here in the corner. It tells you to load a built-in off-the-shelf map created by MHD. There are a variety of maps, blah, blah, blah. That's what you're gonna try to do. But what I need to do first is do an unlock check. So I'm gonna need to connect back to my, con my connector down below. Let's try that one more time, do an unlock check. Boom. So it says on my car, this is how I was able to test it. No, let me see you guys. No unlock needed. You can currently flash 
or you can directly flash the car with MHD. So perfect. Because I have a 2017, it's not a 2020, and nothing crazy. My DME didn't get locked by the dealership. It's a great test to check that. So now what I need to do is flash the MHD map. But what I need to do is I'm connected up to the MHD here. Go back and I'm going to click and I'm going to turn the car off. So it's off and then just in the on position. So it's just on but not running. Then I'm going to go up here to flash MHD map. I'm going USA, Canada. And I'm going stay, stage one. All right. So stage zero is where the car is currently. Stage zero plus is like the MPPSK system. Stage one is where I'm going with and I'm going 93 octane. Let's click on that bad boy. And I am auto, but I don't have the SHP um, tune yet. Let's go with that. Now it's going to connect to the thing. These are all your options you can change around. So any lag is all set up if you're aftermarket downpipes. I'm still on stock downpipes. We can remove the top speed limiter, increase the eye drive power and torque gauge maximum values. Um, I can disable the motor start stop here. The brap that I want to hear from the exhaust, you can do OEM, short or long. Exhaust burbles if you want them. You can reduce the cold start noise. So when you start it up in the morning, it doesn't bother everyone. You can keep the exhaust flaps always open in the sport mode. You can do start up roar so it's going to be louder when you start it up. This is what kind of um, fuel pump you're running, injectors you're running. I'm going to turn off the sport cooler, cooling mode for the intercooler. I've heard some bad things as far as that goes. Like it doesn't allow the car to run properly or it doesn't heat up enough or something like that. So I'm going to leave that all stock for now. Port injection. Um, shoot. And then right here, the TCU limiter delete. So this removes like the torque limiters and stuff. I'm going to leave all of that stuff active for right now. I'm going to allow, what's this? I don't know what this is. S selectively allow the various methods of control in the BHD. I'm just going to say allow both CAN bus ECU preset. Oh, I don't have any of that stuff. All right, let's go back now, and we're going to do a full right. So the first right usually takes a little bit longer. So let's do that. And just make sure you got a good battery when you're doing this. It's going to beep a couple of times. So I'm going to let it do that. I'm just going to let the car sit and do its thing for right now. So it's preparing the DME now. Probably should turn my headlights off before I did this, but let's do that. Let it do its thing. Not gonna mess with it right now. So you can see it's going through and erasing these different sections. That's the timer now, preparing the DME for the tune. So I'm going to let it flash that right now, and I'm going to get back to you guys. The time right now is 6.45 p.m. I'll let you guys know how long it takes. All right, so once it passed about 50%, it changed over to say flash in the ECU. And so now it's erasing a couple sections now, and it's going to go ahead and put that part in. Bro, I am dumb excited. I cannot wait to see the performance gains because you already know, bro. You already know we're talking way more horsepower, so... This thing is going to scoop. So hopefully everything goes well. Fingers crossed. We don't have anything going on with a bricked ECU or anything like that. Fingers crossed, gang. Let's see what happens. All right. We almost wrapped up here. It says 10 seconds left. Bro, the tension is building right now. It is 6.50 p.m. So about five minutes. And we're almost done. Five seconds left. Hundred percent restarting the DME, coding the DME. So 
So the car makes a couple little bing noises, clearing all the codes. And it wants me to wait 30 seconds. Took it four minutes and 23 seconds. Just like that. So let's give it 30 seconds here. Count down with me. No, I'm kidding. I ain't gonna make y'all count. Just hold on a second. I'm super excited. Like, I'm ready. You already know the gains is there. Just gotta go get them. You know what I'm saying? Stage one tune. We got to hear what the burbles could sound like on this, too. I feel like I may reflash. Put some burbles on it just for a little bit. Be that little menace for a little moment, but then uh, jump into it. Anyways, it's been 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. You guys excited? First startup. Success. The tune is there, baby. The tune is on. Everything looks good, no codes, nothing crazy happening, nothing showing up. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go back in my settings. I'm gonna drop down to the codes, read DME codes. It's connected, no DME codes. All right, we are good. We are good. Now remember, if you need to get an inspection done after this, you're gonna have some incompletes immediately. Anytime you clear or flash your car, you're not gonna have any of those complete monitors. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna do this, do this when you don't have to worry about an inspection anytime soon. So eventually those, those monitors should set. But right now, we ain't worried about that, gang. I'm gonna let this car warm up again. It seems like it's in a good spot. It was pretty warmed up when I did it, but I just wanted to sort of learn itself right now. And that's what I always do with all my cars. I let it learn itself for a little bit, drive it around for a couple miles before getting on it at all. That way the car can sort of learn the new parameters and all of that stuff, relearn those things. And then you can, uh, then you can hit it. Yeah. First impressions is riding really good. I can definitely feel a little bit more pickup when I get my foot on the gas. Okay. Like I'm probably like not even 5% on the throttle there. And I mean, I'm getting up to 40, the speed limit, you know what I mean? Pretty easily. Now let's see what we could do here. I'll take it around the block just a little bit, spin the block, make sure we good. Make sure everything's operating the way it should. Make sure no codes, nothing crazy pops up. Cause last thing you need to be is on your way to work. Cause you know, you DD these and uh, you don't want the junk breaking down on you. so. I always like to make sure drivability is there more than the performance. Let's hop on the roll. Oh shoot, yeah, it got a little bit more kick to it right now. I ain't expect that. I put down the gas just about to where I like to put it at. And I definitely want to pull you and get you up to speed much, much quicker. Much, much quicker. But like I said, I like to just test it out for a bit. Let it learn its parameters. Let it warm up, let it get all that in there. And then we're gonna hit this thing. I gotta I got see what it's looking like. Gotta see what the difference feels like. Shoot, I forgot. The thing put me in comfort mode. Let's go in uh, Sport Plus. You can see I don't have any burbles or anything like that on. So I don't have to worry about like any popping or snapping and crackles or anything like that. But I do wanna put some on cause I wanna hear what it sounds like. I feel like this could use a little bit more aggressiveness when it comes to the burbles and the, the pops and bangs. It has some stock, but I want to see what it sounds like with just some, just a little bit more added. If it's too much, I'm definitely taking it off. All right, let's see. Let's give it a little bit of a... Oh, shit! <laughs> Yo! Chill! This thing is scooting now. Hold on, that wasn't even all the way down, bro. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, we in that B-58 life now. moving straight scooting boys definitely a bit more juice to it bro y'all saw that that thing was like normally you only get that when you launched it before now i just got that just putting it on the gas you know what i mean you can definitely notice the difference um let me see i'm gonna see if i can find just some estimated horsepower numbers so you guys can sort of see what a stage one tune 93 octane does to this so that way you guys have an estimation of like what kind of power we're putting down um with this tune versus stock. So it's definitely, I can definitely notice the difference though. Yo, if you saw that video with Andy and he had me in the car and he launched it, bro, it's time, it's time for that payback, baby. It's time for that payback. Andy you might have to hop in the whip. You might have to do a video. See what you see what it looked like. Definitely got some kick to it now. That was crazy. Right, let's see what we can do. Ready? Oh 
shit. <laughs> Yo, stop playing, bro. Stop playing, bro. <laughs> bro, this nigga is crazy. Yo, this nigga is crazy. It just want to go, bro. It just want to go. Yo, I got to let Shorty see what this is looking like. We're going to swing back to the crib. I'm going to scoop her up, and we'll see if we can get her in for a video. I know she's making some dinner right now, so we'll see how that go. But let's see if we can get her in here and see if she can see what this is looking like because I know she's going to be stoked, and I know she's going to want to drive it. But I ain't even got it in the sport for the transmission. Like, bro, I already know. Got to be crazy. Don't worry. We do the whole thing. I have her hold the camera and all that. So, sheesh. That's crazy. A lot more power. A lot more power. Definitely a recommend. Bro, this is, this is what y'all on? This is what y'all on? Y'all modding these B58s? This is what y'all on? Bro, ain't nobody told me, bro. Get you one of these, bro. Get you one of these. Literally a flash five minutes later, bro. Making good power. It's crazy. All right, gang, so I told Shorty, I just want to take her for a quick launch. I just got to see what it's looking like. She, ain't, I don't think she's ever really experienced what it feels like in here. So what I'm gonna do, I got it in sport, plus, foot on the brake, foot on the gas, flag is up, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit balls. Excuse me. <laughs> Bro, it's got some kick to it. It's got some good kick to it. What do you think? Yeah, they made me nervous, just Would a little. You, bro, that junk was crazy, bro. It was, I saw that. <laughs> it was good, though. That's crazy, bro. Anyways, that's stage one tune <laughs> on the whip. It's on there now. Because live, baby, we live. So we got to see what it's looking like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Just for giggles, bro, I just decided to flash the ECU, add some exhaust burbles on. And it says five seconds. To flash it, it's restarting the DME already. It's coding the DME. And let's see. Literally about 10, 15 seconds. So already was coding the DME. Coding successful. Clearing the codes now. Success. Wait 30 seconds. You can see it here. Right time, nine. What's that, nine seconds? So if you already have one on your whip, it's super easy to change the tune once you do that first tune. That was super quick, super fast. You could change that in the parking lot and put your kill map on and take things down just that easily. Bro, this new technology, you just can't beat it. So I'm gonna give it that 30 seconds, start it up, and I put those exhaust burbles on it, and I'm gonna get a video for that so you guys can hear what that sounds like. And I just did some light ones. I didn't do nothing crazy, just light ones. I still got the cats in the downpipe right now, so stay tuned because you already know. I'm thinking catless, baby. I'm thinking catless. So, anyways, it's been about 30 seconds. I'm going to spark this thing up now. Let's see what it sounds like. I'll put you guys around back so you can hear that. And just like that, nothing crazy. You really ain't gonna notice a huge difference until you cop you one of those uh, downpipe or something like that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button down below. Make sure to use my Beamer network. It helps the channel out if you use that code that I use. And uh, yeah, thank you. See you in the next one. Check out this video up there if you wanna see another banger. Peace.